Hello, I want, to thank, uh, I want to give thanks to Sages and everyone here for allowing me to present today. Here are our disclosures. The only thing to disclose is that one of our authors is a consultant for Intuitive Surgical. So as many of you know, there is a need to improve healthcare value. There is, uh, and this is achievable by reducing healthcare costs and improving surgical outcomes. Uh, inpatient hospital episodes contribute the most to the rise in healthcare costs. Uh, and surgical care represents an area in which efficiency of the, of the procedures and standardization of care may help decrease the financial burden. There are many benefits to minimal invasive surgery. There is faster patient recovery, improved clinical outcomes, and a reduction in healthcare utilization. Robotic surgery has seen a dramatic uptake in utilization in colorectal surgery. Take this uh, study done in 2015 by uh, the University of Irvine, which shows that uh, just between 2009 and 2012, there was a fourfold increase in the utilization of the robotic approach uh, to do APRs. Again, there are many controversies around robotic uh, colorectal surgery uh, when compared to the standard approach laparoscopic or open, whether or not there is a benefit uh, since it's, it is associated with an increased cost and an increased operative uh, room time. Um, so compared to standard laparoscopic surgery, robotic-assisted uh, robotic surgery adds uh, 3,500 per procedure and 2.5 billion nationally per year. Um, robotic assisted colorectal surgery, again, has consistently uh, longer operative uh, room times compared to just laparoscopic or open colorectal surgery. So the goal of our study was to evaluate the components of OR time to identify issues in workflow and reporting that may impact reported OR times. Uh, our hypothesis was uh, OR inefficiencies may be the contributing factor adding to the longer OR time. Or times um, and developing standards for operative times may show comparable times um, for the robotic assisted pl platform versus the laparoscopic one. So operative room time is an important quality measure. Uh, it impacts patient outcomes and cost. Uh, issues with robotic assisted colorectal surgery in OR time uh, is that additional procedural components inherent to the technique may add to this. Uh, possibly addition of laparoscopic and open components of the surgery may, may also affect it. And there is no, standard, um, no standards for time terminology, which also creates issues with, uh, with the comparison to other platforms and across centers. Uh, there, there is no standard for start and stop times uh, in robotic-associated or assisted surgical surgery. Um, so in our study, we did a, a prospective institutional quality database that we reviewed, um, we, and it's in a treasury referral facility. We evaluated our, our database between October 2015 and October 2017. The time reports that were evaluated for our entry, anesthesia start time, procedure start time, incision, docking, consult time, procedure stop time. Uh, anesthesia finish and or exit. And the main outcome measures were time spent uh, in ancillary activities, operative time, and impediments to uh, reporting and efficiency. So here's um, some of our results. So in our study, we had 60 cases that were included in the analysis. The mean age was 50.1 years, and there were 50% males and 46% females in our study. Uh, this table shows uh, the types of procedures that were included, and you can see here that the majority um, were segmented colectomies followed by LARs and APRs. And this is just a schematic showing uh, the word time flow and the times that should have been recorded. Again, our results show that in room uh, time and anesthesia start times were recorded inaccurately. 60% uh, of them had identical times. There was also a wide variety between um, procedure start time and incision uh, time. There were intervals greater than 60 minutes for 12% of the cases. And there were also long delays between anesthesia start and procedure start time, with that mean of 47 minutes. Um, here in our results, we also found that docking time was actually a fraction of the total procedure time. Uh, and anesthesia stop time was uh, more than an hour after the procedure stop time in several of the cases. An amino of 48 minutes was required for out of the room after anesthesia stop time was done. Um, this table here just shows, again, our results in evaluating the means of times. Uh, and then 
here we can see the, the mean for the procedure start and stop was 306 minutes. The, here we show that the docking time is actually a fraction of the time, which is 3.8 minutes. And the mean console time was about 162 minutes. This is just another graph showing just how, you know, compared to the entire procedure, uh, mean docking time, it's, it's only occupying 1.24% of the time, and the console time occupies about 53%. So in conclusion, uh, there were inconsistencies uh, that were identified in reporting. There is lack of standardization over what period to find operative time. There is uh, no standard for uh, important components of the operation. No formal education for the nursing staff as to when to start stop recording times and which times are important. Uh, staff was aware of star and docking time, but not console time or closure time. And uh, longer or times do not necessarily be the op longer operative times. Some of the limitations that we found in our study was the fact that it was a heterogeneous database. Uh, it was a single institution and a single surgeon. Again, we're proposing and we're thinking of doing a protective study, and here's uh, what we're proposing in terms of, you know, recording time. Here's how we want to divide it and how we want to define uh, procedure time at the beginning of the incision and, and the end will be incision and closure. Um, here's a t uh, little table that shows, you know, how to record the times and what we're thinking of recording and including. Uh, we want to put the type of anastomosis, extraction sites, other things to also add could be whether or not there was a laparoscopic uh, part associated with the procedure, an open part associated with the procedure, just to, to better be able to evaluate um, all, all the times. Yeah. And then clinical implications. So need, uh, we need a consensus from robotic surgeries on what time points are valuable. Uh, we should develop an institutional and international standard for recording these uh, time points. And we should have formal education for our staff uh, to take place so that they know what's important. There should be emphasis, uh, uh, emphasis should be placed on, on the importance of accurate uh, reporting. And with this, comparisons for our time and costs across platforms and other centers will be valid. Improved reporting can help identify efficiencies and lead to the cost reduction. Thank you.